reaching a point that I say I'm quite a little bit profitable has been quite a hard, uh, it's been quite a tough journey for me, right? I had many bad experiences, right? So I also had this quote one day, it says, uh, the best decisions, best decision, sorry, best, can, why can't I say decisions? Best decision, best decisions come after, come from great, ex, from experience, and experience comes from bad experiences, right? So I'm um, just going to be showing you, I'm going, going to be sharing with you some of the experiences that I think I, if I knew earlier, I would do, have been profitable a lot, a lot much faster, right? Some of the things that I discovered when I was starting my trading journey, right? So first, the first thing that I discovered for me to become profitable is that I always have to trade with the trend, right? So this means that I just have, you just have to look forward for maybe what a breaking market structure and trade alongside with that. Right? So if we are going up, I think you know how to check where the trend is going, right? So uh, going up, we creating what I is a yellow, I is a yellow, I is a yellow, blah blah blah, right? So being able to trade with the trend is actually going to help you guys. Right? So let me just check for the one hour. I can see a setup where not trading with the trend is quite detrimental to you, right? So let's say uh, maybe over here. Uh, let me just check my PNC over here. Right? So it's over here, as you can see, maybe you've got what you come over here and see that uh, the market has been going down for a, a long time. Right, and you want to anticipate what the market will do, so like you can tell Jerry what to do yourself, <laughs> guys. I uh, you tell me, you will tell me one day. Right, so over here, you say that the market has been going down for a long, for a long time now. Yeah, now it has to go up, and you see yourself, and now you are painting that W yourself, and you want to see a W over here, guys. <laughs> you lose a lot of money. You tell me that right, over here. So over here, you mark your, your blah blah blah, saying ah, the market has to buy over here. You've got this engulfing candle, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and, and you see, uh, the, it also gives you an engulfing candle so that you just think that I know I'm, I'm on top of the reef. I know what I'm doing. And guess what? The market just sweeps you out. Right? So you just, as long as there, there hasn't been a breaking market structure, you have to continue trading with the trend. Guess over here. Check this out. If you just we enter those zone flips over here, that zone flip over there, and you didn't look for a W that you want to imagine yourself. Guys, uh just enter al alongside with the trend just check how many trades they are right you can also use your moving averages your macd your rsi to check where the trend is just to know where the trend is going where the trend is so that you'll be able to trade alongside with that right don't oppose the market go in the, go with the flow right we are not uh we're not we're not fish who go against the current we are we want to be uh, what do you call it uh stupid fish who flow with the trend right so you have to flow with the trend, right? So that's one thing that uh, that helped me to become profitable because most of the times I just wanted to get sniper entries, right? That's that was one of the breaking points that uh, one of the breaking points, one of the discoveries that helped me shape the uh, type of trader that I am today, right? Then the second thing is not having targets, right? So when I discovered that uh, you should have a target, you should have a target when you're trading. Yeah, it was quite after some losses, right? So I was over trading most of the times, right? So over trading is one of those bad things, right? So you have to avoid over trading, right? So let's say maybe you have been getting what maybe you're using one. I think if I add uh, the moving average so that this becomes a little bit simpler for me to do. Right? So let me just use the moving average of period 50. Right? So that I uh, see, yeah. So let's say you're using this moving average. Guess what? And you see you have been getting all those all these profitable entries throughout the day, right? And maybe just one last trade of the day, maybe you enter over here, you enter that sale over here, right? And you lose all that money, right? So having a target a day, right? Guess what, if you were trading all these positions earlier, right? You'd be in profit, right? And I'm sure that maybe you'd already hit your, hit your target, but wanting to keep on what trading, it will make you lose a lot of money, right? Or you just go back to break even. Most of the times you go back to break even, and tomorrow you start at the same point. So you keep, you see that you are always in a cycle, right? You become profitable, and tomorrow you are back in the same position you were yesterday. You become profitable a little bit, tomorrow you are at the same position again that you were. So you have to avoid over trading by, by all means necessary. You have to avoid over trading, right? Then uh, I also discovered that uh, I have to deposit to deposit enough capital, enough money, right, 
depositing enough money is i like to look uh, at uh, the equity in your account is yes. so like lives right so like chances or lives whatever i like to call them uh, is it chances yeah lives if it's a game with their lives and if they are yeah so chances like so let's say i've got two guys right i've got uh, me and you right i've got ten dollars in my account and we've got hundred dollars in your account right we see the same setup and you say yeah let's uh let's buy over let me just say let's let's say over here at right, this point over here when the market pulls back to this zone flip area over here right, i think there are many too, too many lines over here let me delete this right so we say let's buy over let's say over there right and uh, as you can see the market just we've got a zone flip area over here with our moving average also right the market just shot up a little bit right and it continued going down guess what most of the times i would have lost that that 10 dollar account would have blown because maybe i have two or three positions because i'm confident in that trade because it's a confluence trade i've got my zone flip and my moving average so it's actually a confluence trade right so i was a little bit overconfident i enter three positions and i lose all that money right and i blow that money and the market goes down in my direction and uh over here you've got a hundred you have a hundred dollars and you're able to hold on to that trade guess what you are in profit and uh, it was the same setup same everything but you're able to hold on to that trade because you had more capital right and sometimes it, the setup doesn't work right maybe our stop loss or both of us was ten dollars and we lose that ten dollars but guess what the next setup that we see i'm not able to enter because i've already blown all the money that i had and you are still able to enter because you still have some capital you still have some money that you can use to enter and so i like to look at it as, at it as, as if they are lives right so he, it's always best to have as many lives as many chances as as possible right so if enough capital grow that small account uh wait until you are able to deposit enough money whatever you're going to do you should have enough capital right and you shouldn't risk uh, all that money right you might even have enough capital but it also comes down to risk management are you able to practice proper risk management because i might even have a 10 dollar account and you have a 100 dollar account but you blow faster than me you be you blow and i will still remain why because uh, having a risk, good risk to reward ratio also helps you in order to what in order to monitor to have enough chances if you risk all that hundred that four hundred dollars in just one trade you're gonna lose right and if you lose and if you lose there's no next move there's no next chance there's no next life right so always keep that in mind guys